Hi, welcome to Office Hours. And today we are talking about shear flow, or we're gonna do a shear flow example. And let's see, in this problem, we are given a, a beam is constructed. It's got two boards, like two two by fours, nailed together and with two rows of nails. That's kind of important of nails at six inch spacing and let's see and there's a and we know that there's like a face of a cut from a shear diagram this shear force that's applied on the fit cross section uh, due to transverse shear is 600 pounds right here and we would like to find the force applied or resisted by each nail one board here's the other board and then there are nails that go through like this and it, they continue and they have a spacing of six inches all right and and there's another set of nails you know like over here which has also has a spacing of six inches like that okay and and so this all the nails have an area of responsibility of about six inches yeah so like for instance if we take this middle segment of nails this area of responsibility is halfway to halfway to each set of nails so it's responsible for this area right there and this area has a total length of six inches yes and a width of uh, six inches mm -hmm. oh that's interesting okay all right oh it's a terrible drawing this this should have been like this and this should have been like this huh yeah. more like that yeah okay all right and and we know that the shear force the transverse shear here this v is 600 pounds okay and so what we're looking for is um the force applied on each nail two and the force applied what we learned in class, this force applied on a nail is the shear flow times the spacing divided by the number of shear planes. All right, okay? Yeah. And this shear flow is VQ over I times S divided by the number of planes, number of shear planes, okay? All right. Okay, let's see here. So let's, let's let's start with the simple stuff. Do I know the shear force? Yes. Yes, I know the transverse. I know the shear. So check. Do I know uh, moment of inertia? Not yet. Not yet. That's right. Not yet. <laughs> and here. So let's see. Let's get some geometric properties. So three, the MOI. And here. You know the nails are, are holding both boards together so the both the boards to get the both the two by fours can act like a single beam mm -hmm. so that means we get to use one big old moment of inertia and it's just a rectangular cross section so i is 1 12th the base six. six inches times a height of four inches cubed and this oh this was six inches and each of these is two inches. All right, and what is that? What's that moment? Uh, 32 inches to the fourth. 32 inches to the fourth. Yep, that's right. And, and so we know the moment of inertia. I check, uh, we, do we know the spacing? Mm, yeah, yeah. The, or the space that's required to cover right the space the spacing oh, yeah, yes, or yeah, yeah it's uh -huh. six inches right so this is six inches all right and then um now the first moment of area and the number of shear planes are related yeah mm -hmm. so yeah. so let's see where what area should we use for the first moment of area especially when it comes to shear flow and nails or connectors or glue uh hmm. we should use uh the top section 
Mm, I agree. We should use the top section. And where, how would we define the top section from where to where? Like from z here to here? Well, the neutral axis goes to the center. So. Uh, to the center. Now, we choose this location. I, I think we should choose this location, not because it's the neutral axis, but because that's where the two boards are connected. The nails are intended to hold these two boards together. Mm -hmm. And the point that's important is where they're in contact, which happens to be, in this case, the at the axis. neutral axis. That's where the nails have to go across to keep these two boards together. Mm -hmm. Okay, So that's where if I cut it, I, I'm disconnecting the two elements. right? If I cut it there, I'm disconnecting the two elements that the nails are holding together. Yeah. Okay, And so that's where I want to cut for the first moment of area. Okay. Right. And so now I can choose either top or in the top or the bottom. Let's say I choose the top would be here. This would represent a prime. And this Q, this first moment of area Q, which is the sum of a prime times y bar prime. This is going to be that area. There's only one of them. So that's six inches times two inches and the y bar prime is the distance from the neutral axis to the center of the element mm -hmm. which in this case would be one inch times one inch and this is 12 inches cubed mm -hmm. all right and, and so this is 12 inches cubed and so how many shear planes are there uh one okay so technically there's only one shear plane okay all right so this is one shear plane all right one plane one plane okay all right and so now i i, I i'm going to calculate the force that's applied on the nails so the force that's applied on the nails i'm going to solve it right here it's going to be um, v is 600 pounds times Q, which is 12 inches cubed, divided by 32 inches to the fourth, times six inches. Yay, come on in. Hey. Uh -huh. Six inches divided by one shear plane. And so this is, what is the force here? I got 1350. 1350 pounds. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Yeah, I think that looks right. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah that looks, that's 7,200 divided by 32 times 6. That seems right. All right. I don't know. I'm tired, man. I just thought, I'm like, yeah, it's good. That's right, yeah. <laughs> All right. 3,250 pounds. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not the right answer for this problem, though. Oh. Because it's asking for the force on each nail and how many nails are going through the shear plane. Uh, six. Well, at least in terms of the this orange area that we looked at, oh, how two. many nails are holding that board together there? Two. Two. So, what should what is the on the force applied on each nail is is what? Uh, thirteen fifty divided by two. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. It's just the it's half that each yeah. each each nail. If it was just one nail in here, we would say it's got to take all the thirteen fifty pounds, right? Yeah. But there's two nails in that same location, so we can we can break it up. We'll say they take an equal role in in holding down this zone. Yeah. And so it would just be thirteen fifty divided by two, which is is that six seventy five. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 675 pounds. So each nail is taking up 675 pounds. Another way to look at it is, you know, you make this cut here, but you end up cutting through two nails. So it's kind of like two shear planes. Oh. Okay. That's another way to look at it. You don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to. But it, it that's what it's doing. That's okay. what's going on. And then we could, you know, using this now, you know, the model of the nail is really just here. The force applied on the nail is 675 pounds. And then there, this would be a case of direct shear. And there would be a shear here. And then if I asked you for the average shear stress in the nail, then you could, right? In the nail itself, 
Yeah? Yeah, you would use equilibrium to solve for L. Right, to get V nail, and that would tell you from equilibrium, V nail would be 675 pounds. And then the average shear stress in the nail would be this V over the area of the nail. This would be a case of direct shear. And this would be 675 pounds divided by whatever the diameter, pi over two, 4 d squared. Yeah. Pi over 4 d squared for the area of the nail. We gotta be careful keeping these pi over 4s, yeah. pi over 2 straight because like we got like polar moment of inertia of a circle, area moment of inertia of a circle, and area of a circle. Yeah? So mm -hmm. when in doubt, just go back to pi r squared. Yeah. Okay. You know, and then <laughs> and think from there. All right. All right. Well, that's that's this problem. See ya.